Hey everyone, I'm really excited to show you what I think is probably the most important new feature in Photo Raw, and that's the non-destructive editing. When you use it as a standalone application, all of the edits that you do and develop and effects, all the raw processing sort of things, are stored as instructions. That means the original file is left untouched, it doesn't grow in size at all, and all of your settings can then be copy and pasted or easily modified in the future. Now I'm going to show you a couple ways to use it. I'm going to start here in Browse. I'm going to go to the Presets tab and I'm just going to add a preset to a photo. Something you would do every day. I'm going to use a really obvious one just for demonstration purposes here. All right, now let's say I want to take the settings from this photo and I want to apply it to the photo next to it. An easy way to do that is just to copy and paste the settings. Go to the Settings menu and select Copy Settings. Then select another photo. Go back to the Settings menu and select Paste. When you paste settings, you get to pick which settings you want to apply. You can apply all of the settings from a photo, or you could choose just to apply the develop settings or the effect settings, or if you've used any of the local adjustment tools with the masking bug, you can paste those too. Another way to apply those same settings is to use the sync command. This is handy if you want to apply it to a bunch of photos at once. So I'm just going to use the shift key and I'm just going to grab a couple other photos down here in my film strip like this. And now I'll use the sync button right here and I'll apply those same settings to all. And when you synchronize, it uses all the settings so they get exactly the same adjustments applied, just like that. Now you can remove settings if you need to as well. Go to the settings menu. You can reset all of the settings or you can just reset the settings for a specific module or for the retouching tools. I'm going to use the Reset All option, and it'll clear out all the settings for those photos instantly. And these same features work the same inside of Develop and Effects. Let's go to Effects, and I'll do a little bit of work. I'm going to add a texture. Then I'll add a Vintage Filter. And then I'll add a Vignette. And then if I want to use those same settings, the same stack of filters that I've created here inside of Effects, I can do the same thing. Just select the photos that I want to apply it to and use that sync command. All of those settings are stored locally on your computer in the Photo Raw database. If you work on multiple computers, you can enable what we call sidecar files. If you go to your settings menu, click on the files tab, make sure you have saved on one sidecar files for non-destructive edits and metadata turned on. That'll create a small sidecar file that lives next to each one of your photos that you edit. Then when you take those photos to another computer, let's say you keep your photos on an external hard drive and it goes from computer A to computer B, or if you store your photos in a cloud syncing service like Google Drive or Dropbox, or if you keep your photos on a network drive or a network area storage device, then you'll see those same edits from every computer that views those photos. It makes it really seamless to switch computers or if you work in an office and multiple photographers need to work on the same photos. And the great part is there's no catalog file that you have to move around and no paths that you have to sync up whenever you change where the photos live. It just works. I think when you take all of the cool things you can do in develop and effects and you combine it with the power of this non-destructive editing, it's going to change workflows for people. They'll be able to do things they've never been able to do in a much faster way. We're super excited about it and we hope you guys love it. Thanks for watching.